What's going on guys? Today we're going to make designs for print on demand products and we're going to use nothing but free AI tools. All right. So every tool that I use here is going to be available to you guys as well, completely for free. You won't have to pay for anything. So let's go ahead and start off by going to ideagram.ai. And once you're here, I'm just going to go ahead and plug in this template that I have written up right here. And I will place this into the description of this video. And that way you guys can use this template as well if you like the results. So when I paste in this template, you'll see that all I have to do is fill in this subject line and subject name right here. For this one, I'll just go ahead and put in Hawaii. So I'll just put Hawaii right here as well. Just like that, look at this. We we now have our graphics. So once we get one that we like, we'll go ahead and download it by clicking this button right here. Now, once you save your image, what we need to do is remove that background. So we're gonna go over to another free AI tool. It's called Pixel Cut, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and click on background remover. And now we're gonna upload the image that we just downloaded. And just by uploading that, it's gonna go ahead and remove that background for us. You see that there? But make sure you keep watching because I'm gonna give you guys another free AI tool that is gonna differentiate you from your competition. So let's go ahead and download that image. Now we have it without the background. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to another free tool, it's called Photo P. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open that image. And with this tool, all I wanna do is add like a little bit of a border around this graphic, just so it stands out when it's on the shirt and it's just gonna make it a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on layer. And when I go down to layer style, I'm gonna click on stroke. I'm going to increase the size, maybe not that much, but I'm just going to play around with it until I see something that I like. And let me first change the color because that might be a little bit easier for me to get what I'm going for. It's all up to your preference, but just that looks pretty good with the green and you don't have to do this step and it just makes the image pop out a little bit better. I think that looks good right there. I don't want to overdo it and I'm just going to export this. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now we're going to move on to the free AI tool that I was talking about. So what we're going to do is go over to this website that's completely free because they're in beta right now. It's called vectorizer.ai. You're going to subscribe to the channel because I'm giving you this free tool. All right. When you guys see what this tool does, you're going to be amazed like I was. This is one of my favorite tools. So what you're going to do is click right here. It's very simple to use. And we're going to upload that picture that we just saved. Now, let me show you what this does. So on the left is that image we just downloaded. On the right is the image that we just got from Vectorizer. Now, let me zoom in and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. You see how pixelated it is on the left hand side. And then you look on the right hand side. This is the image we're about to download. And it does this instantaneously. We don't have to do anything. We don't need to know any skills. Look at as I zoom in, look at how pixelated it is and look over here how it's perfect because it's a vector file now. So this is what's going to differentiate you guys from the competition. It's going to be so much better quality now. Let's click download right here. And here's all the file formats that you can download this in. These are all different vector formats. And I always click on PNG. So if it's on something like that, just click on PNG. Don't mess with any of these parameters and just go ahead and click on download. All right. So I'm here on my print on demand store. We'll upload that image. Okay. Let's upload that. And you can see how clear it is. And when you look over here, always the recommendation is that it's over. 300 dpi so that way when they print it on a shirt and it's very big it doesn't lose quality and as you can see we're 341 dpi so we're well above the recommended dpi which means it's not going to lose any quality when we make it bigger and just like that we have now created like a vacation destination style 
hoodie or graphic design however you want to say it and it only took us a couple minutes so that's a way for you guys to start a print on demand business and in the next video i'm going to show you guys like from start to finish how to create a business with zero dollars without having to spend a single dollar okay and i'll go more in depth if you guys like this video all right so make sure you subscribe and all right i'll see you guys in this video right here peace